Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the new meeting options in Microsoft Teams. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. There is now a new feature that allows you to define meeting options. It is fully integrated in Microsoft Teams and you can decide who can bypass the lobby, who can present, or you can even allow attendees to unmute. We will go through additional features like uh, Together Mode or Large View Gallery. Ok, let's go and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open. Before to show the new meeting experience, we have to enable this feature in Microsoft Teams. In order to do that, you have to click on your account, this will open this panel and then on settings. There is here an option, turn on new meeting experience, new meetings and calls will open in separate windows, requires restarting Teams. I already checked this option, so if you don't have, you have to restart your Microsoft Teams application. Closing now this panel, let me go in calendar. I'll show you now that editing this meeting that there is here the meeting options. If I click here, this will open a page in the browser where I can define who can bypass the lobby and I have here a bunch of options like everyone, people in my organization and trusted organization, people in my organization, only me. Then I can define Always let colors bypass the lobby, announce when colors join or leave, who can present, everyone, people in my organization, specific people, only me, allow attendees to unmute, yes or no. Then you can save your option. I'll show you in a bit now that these options are fully integrated in Microsoft Teams app, so you don't no longer need to open a new page in the browser. Here I am back on Microsoft Teams. I have to start now a new meeting and in order to show you a new feature called Large View Gallery, I have to start a meeting with more than 10 attendees. So instead of creating a meeting across the calendar by inviting 10 attendees, I will click on the team in the general channel and I will click directly on the meet button. This will open this window and I can decide here if start by unmuting myself and disabling the video. Clicking on join now, I can now start the meeting and I can define which attendees I want to invite. Now I will open every user in every browser instance in order to join this meeting. So if you see here, I created and I started a new browser instance for every user. So I have 10 users here available. I made a video how you can impersonate multiple users in Microsoft Teams by opening multiple instances of Teams. You can click on the right top corner right now or there is a link in the description. Okay, let's say that now the meeting is started. I want to define the options of this meeting before that people join the meeting. So if you click on the ellipsis icon, you have this meeting options now available here as option. And clicking on it, as you can see, we have the same configuration that we have seen before in the browser. So we can decide if people can avoid the lobby or which people can bypass the lobby. And we have several other options that we have already seen. Clicking on save, this will save the configuration for this meeting. Okay, now we have to join this meeting with all other user. So I have to click now on this on this browser instance and I have now I am now a different user. I am Li Gu. I can see that there is a new meeting up and running in the channel and I can click on join. I will disable the microphone and I will click on join now. 
I will do the same for the other attendees. Here we go now in the meeting, we have all attendees available. So in order to show you now every meeting functionality, I will click on the ellipsis button and we will go through every feature here available. We have the classic device settings that allows you to select which device you want to use as speaker, microphone or camera. Going forward, we have the meeting options that we have already seen. I will go through meeting notes now. Here I can take notes easily and fastly by clicking on this button. This will open a new tab here in the, in the general channel. And as you can see here, we have a new wiki page created. This page is saved in SharePoint. Going now on SharePoint, I'll show you that in the site content of the of the SharePoint site behind the team, there is Teams Wiki Data Document Library. If you click on it, you will see that meeting notes are now available and saved in the folder general. Okay, let's go back now on the meeting because it's time to go forward, meeting details. So this is very useful because you can copy the link of this meeting and you can share with your other and additional colleagues if you want to invite more attendees. Then we have the first option here as modern and new meeting experience, which is the gallery. So we already have this kind of view selected as you can see we have all attendees as a grid view available here so now the large gallery is in preview and is disabled now because you have to enable the video for every attendee so let me turn on now the video for every attendee here i am now i'm impersonating a lot of users here so I am theoretically now able to start the large view gallery mode because I turn it on every video for every attendees. So clicking now on large gallery, which is in preview, we should be able now to view every users in the grid of this meeting. Here we go now. It took a while because my PC is a little bit stressed now with all this camera turned on, but all attendees now are in the grid. As you can see here, we have Lydia Holloway, Robbins, Ligu, Shinman, I am in. So all A11 attendees are available in this grid. Let's turn on now the together mode. I disabled some camera now because my device is suffering, but it's enough these this attendees with this number of videos available to display the together mode. So clicking on the together mode option here, you will start a virtual room with all attendees inside. Here we go. The virtual room is, is created and as you can see all video attendees are available here and you can enjoy this kind of feature. Going back now on the gallery view, let me show you now the focus mode. I want to change perspective. I am now Li Gu and I will share a PowerPoint presentation to this meeting. So going back now on the Teams client app. I we should see this uh, presentation coming up and here we go. So I can, what I can do here, I can click on the ellipsis icon, I can click on focus. This will start a focus mode where I can display only the PowerPoint presentation or better what the user is presenting at this stage. This is a good option when you want to hide the, the bar at the bottom with all attendees to the meeting. Clicking again on the focus mode, you will see that the attendees bar showing up again. So now there is also the full screen option that 
will open the, the meeting full screen mode and uh, you, you will not be able to, to see the again the Chrome button on top. Okay, let me click on back again on full screen. Okay, let me show you another cool feature which is very popular. I can apply a background effects behind me. So for example, let me select this one which is my YouTube channel. Clicking on preview, as you can see, I have now a background effect behind me. So apply and turn on the video and now the other attendees will see my background effects. Jumping back again on uh, the Teams application and let me turn off the camera. Going forward we have the ability also to turn on live caption. Let me close this one. And, uh, and then finally we have the ability to record the meeting. And we'll currently we'll save the, the file in the uh, in stream but in the future we'll save directly the recording on SharePoint and OneDrive. All right that was a very quick tutorial how you can use the new meeting options in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future put a comment down below I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time, bye!